Welcome to RM Cybernetics. This video will show you how to make a really simple solid state Tesla coil using our power pulse modulators and some wire coils. A solid state Tesla coil is a type of high frequency resonant transformer which can step up a low DC voltage into a very high frequency AC output. In this example the resonant frequency is in the region of 1 MHz. The result of this high voltage high frequency output is being able to make awesome looking sparks and arcs of plasma in the air. For this project you will need a power pulse modulator, PWM OCXI version 2, even better if you have two of them, a PSU with a voltage between 12 volts and 24 volts and a current of at least 5 amps, a large battery could also work but take care not to let the voltage drop below 12 volts, a helical coil with around 750 turns, some 10 amp cable for the primary coil and a thousand microfarad electrolytic capacitor. In this diagram you can see how the various parts are connected together. The OCXI is used to pulse the primary coil at around 1 MHz, which then induces current at high voltage in the secondary coil. The 1000 microfarad capacitor is acting as a decoupling capacitor to reduce voltage drops. Here you can see a helical coil which you can purchase from rmcybernetics.com. It's around 750 turns of 0.25 mm copper. The amount of turns does not matter exactly, but around 750 turns is suitable. Here you can see I'm wrapping some paper on the bottom just to protect the secondary coil from the primary coil. I'm then wrapping it in a insulation just to protect it even further and to keep it fixed on the bottom of the helical coil. Here you can see me working with the primary winding. I've got some silicon wire which you can purchase from our website and I've wrapped four turns around it and then I've covered it in insulation. The primary winding here is about 1.2 meters just to give you a bit of flexibility with connecting it to the OCXI. Uh, ensure that you have enough but not too much of the wire trailing. Just a quick look at how I've actually connected the OCXIs together along with the coil. I have attached one of the OCXIs to the 24 volt supply and in parallel I've attached it to the other OCXI. I then attached the 1000 microfarad capacitor. Do not forget to replace the timing capacitor C1 on the slave module with a 22 picofarad version. Here you can see I am replacing the 10 nanofarad capacitor and putting in the 22 picofarad capacitor. Now I simply attach two sides of the primary winding of the helical coil to the OCXI slave and then we're ready to go. To set up the frequency on the OCXI, just the duty cycle to 50% and then set the frequency to 100% and slowly bring it down until you reach the desired effect on the Tesla coil with the maximum burst. In the unmodulated example, with a single OCXI running continuously at 1 MHz, the OCXI is being pushed very hard and will soon overheat if left running too long. Make sure you only run it for short periods and check the large heatsink is not getting really hot. You can add a fan to it to increase runtime, but you still need to make sure it does not overheat. It is important to keep the OCXI circuits away from the secondary coil as being near it could induce high voltages into the circuit which could result in damage. When running, the solid state Tesla coil is emitting lots of radio frequency noise in the region of 1 MHz. This can cause all sorts of issues with nearby electronics such as computers that are not well shielded. Keep it well away from any sensitive electronic equipment. We notice this effect when trying to record this video for you now. With the single OCXI, the system is considered to be a continuous wave solid state Tesla coil, as the high voltage output is a continuous sinusoidal voltage. This makes the plasma almost silent as the frequency is well beyond the range of human hearing.
You can see how intense the RF field around the Tesla coil is by holding a normal strip light nearby. Without even touching it, the tube lights brightly due to the induced currents. When using two OCXI circuits, the high voltage output is interrupted repeatedly so that it is only active for short bursts. Chopping a high frequency with a low one like this is known as modulation. This has the advantage that we can put more power into each burst without overheating the system. The sparks will therefore be longer and brighter, and will also now make audible sounds. The sound you hear is at the frequency of the modulation signal and is produced when the plasma forms and forces the air around it to expand. We hope you've enjoyed this video and have begun to understand how to make a solid state Tesla coil at home for yourself. For more information and for our products, visit rmcybernetics.com.